Hi, and welcome back to Break 100 Golf. I'm John. You're gonna to love today's video because I'm gonna go over the new SkyTrack 5.0 software update on the SkyTrack Plus and also the original SkyTrack. Now, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel right now. It'll really allow my channel to grow and allow me to continue to bring videos just like this to YouTube. Now, the reason I wanted to do this video is because there aren't a whole lot of them out there yet. It's only been out less than two weeks, the new software, and I really have been having fun with it so far. I'm not gonna do any kind of review or anything like right now, but I'm going to go through all of the options in the software for the most part and show you some course play. Now, the official version of the software is actually version 5.0.116. And if you're going to purchase the software, in other words, if you're gonna use anything other than just the driving range, I'll put the graphic up here on the screen. You get the essential package and that's $129.95 per year as a subscription. And with that, you get a driving range, the swing lab, you can connect to third party software, you know, like the Golf Club 2019 um, or E6. And then new improvement ranges, there's a bunch of those. And then you can unlock add-on availability. Now, from there, if you look below that, this is the big thing. And this is why I have the device. I got the device because I wanted something else to play with other than GS Pro, which I love. I use that with my Garmin R10. Uh, I can connect that with the open API, but really it's not very easy to putt. It's like a convoluted way you can set it up with like either X putt or a, a webcam. And really the Garmin is not officially supported by GS Pro anyway. And they released this kind of as a surprise. SkyTrack did. I knew nothing about it. I don't think anybody knew anything about it. And they released 30 courses and the software is really good. Graphically, very good and very responsive. And so far, I'm really impressed with it. That's really the only reason I did it because I was thinking about the flight scope, which I still want, because I want to use that with GS Pro and I'll do that someday. I don't want to connect this device to GS Pro. I'm just going to use it with their proprietary software, which is, I think, a game changer, quite frankly. There's 30 initial courses and they're all good, but they plan on releasing more. So along with that, I did see now also, and I'll put that graphic up on the screen, that if you're gonna use the software, they have a note that says the initial launch of course play requires a PC with graphics cards. Um, and here's the minimum requirements, basically Windows 10, 64 bit, so 10 or 11. Uh, 16 gig of RAM, Intel 5 or higher, or Ryzen 3600 for your CPU, and then NVIDIA RTX 3060 uh, or the AMD Radeon 5700, and then a 500 gigabyte SSD or solid state drive. So that's really important. And I think with really any kind of really good golf sim software, you're going to have that. You're going to want to have like an NVIDIA 3060 or higher. And currently with my PC that I have at my golf sim, I have an NVIDIA, um, NVIDIA 4060. And then I also have an i7 and um, it's just, it flies. I can play uh, GS Pro and Ultra. And so far with the new uh, SkyTrack software, it just flies. And I'm really surprised how responsive the software is. I am a new user with SkyTrack and it just, it flies. So I'll show you some of that. So let's get right into all the options, what the new console looks like in uh, SkyTrack, if you're not a SkyTrack user, and what really drew me into getting the software and the device. So from here, what I wanna do is show you the initial welcome screen and then also the console. So let's go over that first. So you've got course play, Pin Seeker, compete in online closest to the pin tournaments to win cash and prizes. Practice, hone your skills and improve your game on the SkyTrack practice range. Swing Lab, check out the Swing Lab to work on your game. Real improvement starts here. And then also challenges, master your skills in these mini games and skills challenges. Let's go ahead and open up Course Play. 
And this is what it looks like here. You basically have a screenshot for all 30 of the golf courses. There are some high-end golf courses here like Quail Hollow, like Innisbrook, like Bay Harbor, like Pebble Beach. And then from there, you can add your favorites. I haven't done that yet. I just clicked on view all. And then from here, you can view all of the golf courses that are available and you can download them. So those the golf courses that they have are Bay Harbor, Innisbrook, Paris International, Pebble Beach, Quail Hollow, Devil's Island, Donalda Club, Golf Club de, de Geneva, Great Northern, Hawk Tree Golf Club, Hillcrest Country Club, Hudson National, Kea Golf Club, Kissing Tree Golf Club, Lago Mar Country Club, Lake Geneva Country Club, Leather Stocking Golf Club, Massaquan River Golf Club, Oakwood Country Club, Oswego Lake Country Club, Pine Brook Country Club, Port Huron Golf Club, Portland Golf Club, Primland Highland Course, Sevenac Golf Club, Shelter Harbor, Sweetens Cove Golf Club, Tacoma Golf and Country, the Aces Club, and the Lost Nine. So that's all of that. Now let's go out of that menu and let's go to Quail Hollow. We'll hit play now. And then from here, you can select full 18, front nine, back nine, or custom. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna select hole number four, and I'll select hole number 18. Now let's go forward. From here, all you can uh, activate now is stroke play. I'm sure that'll change later. You can do your concede score. We'll just leave it at triple bogey. Mulligans, we'll leave it unlimited. You can do auto putt or putt it out. I'll put it on putt it out. Gimmies will change to three feet. Pin position, you can change that as well. We'll just leave it on medium and then you can change your wind speed and direction. Let's hit next. That's me, Captain Fancy. We'll change it to the blues. And I'm right-handed and then we need to tee off. So that just takes a few seconds and that will load up. It'll start in the drone mode and come down to the tee box. This is a par three, 162 yards. Let's go over to the mini map. We'll hit the uh, or collapse for the mini map. Let's hit the expand. Real nice mini map. You can also change your view from full map view to ball and pin view, and also green view. Let's minimize that. And we'll do a flyover. I love this flyover, the way it backs up to start. Then we'll do the drone. This is so cool. That'll hover over the, the course and you can actually adjust that up or down. And then when you close the drone view, it slowly drops back down to the tee box. Great feature. Next, you can snap to the green and you can turn on the grid to see the green contour. You can adjust that on the right as well. Let's close that. You can show your numbers from your shot. Over here, you've got your settings like the scorecard, instant replay, camera offset, green grid, uh, tracer, things like that, auto continue. I set mine for 10 seconds uh, so far, and that gives me the ability, especially if I'm practicing on course, if I want to re-hit a shot and take a mulligan, just set mulligans to, you know, unlimited, I can keep hitting that shot if I want to. So let's close that and we'll exit and pick up the ball. And then we're going to go to 18. 
So here's the intro, starts in the drone shot, but a little bit quicker. This is a beautiful hole, Quail Hollow number 18. Let's go ahead and do the flyover. Really cool, the clubhouse looks great. Graphics look great. They look even better when you're playing. Drone view, now you can really see the course on this hole. And we'll close that and we'll drop back down. And you can quickly snap to the green as well. And turn the grid on for your green top contours. Okay, from here, I'm gonna go out to the garage and I'll play those two holes, number four and 18 on Quail Hollow. And then we're gonna come back and we'll wrap up everything here with all the practice stuff and some of the challenges that you can do. There's still lots more to come, so stay tuned. All right, here we are at hole number four at Quail Hollow. I've got 168 yards to the pin. Gonna hit a seven iron for you. That's coming right. Oh well. Are we on the green? That is a long putt. Holy cow. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, 50 footer, here we go. Here goes nothing, 16 inches uphill. Let's see if I can get it close. Left to right, break. Go, 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 go. Oh, well. All right, best we can do is par if I make this. Get in there, get in there, get in there, ah! All right, so that's bogey, that's okay. That's good, we got to see a 50 foot putt. So I've got it set to 10 seconds and then it'll move on to hole number 18, which is a long par four. Just great looking graphics. I have zero complaints about the graphics whatsoever. All right, 268 on the drive. We got 194 to the pin. I'm just gonna hit a five hybrid on this one. Go, 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 go. All right, we're on the fringe. 51 feet to the pin. Grab my 60 degree here. All right, I've got a 60 degree. Let's see if we can get this one close. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Nope. Six foot putt. Okay, I'll take it. All right, 6.3 feet, breaking a little bit left to right, not much. Let's see if I can get it in there or close. Oh well, that's a gimme. All right, that was a tough one. Long par four, so plus one, plus one. I think you get the gist of it. Absolutely great software, phenomenal. Let's go back upstairs. All right, we're back upstairs. Let's go over some of the practice utilities. 
Now, when you first open up the practice, it'll take you back to whatever practice utility you were using last. So in this case, I was using uh, the city uh, driving range, which is basically, you know, New York City, Times Square. So it's 155 yards. You can collapse your data if you're not a SkyTrack user. So this might be a good one to practice with like your nine iron or your eight iron. It just gives you a different area that you can practice on. And here's your numeric display for all of your data after your shots if you wanna see complete data. So let's go ahead and leave the practice area. And this is what it's gonna look like at the start. You've got the SkyTrack range. Let's start that. So this is actually just an update of the original SkyTrack range. And it's just graphically, it's just a little bit brighter and a little bit more colorful and clearer. So let's select greens and we'll set it to, I don't know, 191 yards. That's probably a six iron for me. And you can collapse your data there at the bottom. And there's your dispersion map over there on the right. Let's go ahead and leave that. And then here's some of the new stuff. The wall would be next. So you click on this and basically you use the wall to help shape your shots from right to left. So this is gonna help you to hit a draw. So let's go ahead and select seven iron. So you'll just want to hit it around the wall, hit it to the right and draw it to the left around the wall. It's just a way to practice uh, with being penalized, hitting the wall if you just can't hit a draw. Next, let's go out to the practice area. And this is the right to left command range. Essentially, this is gonna be the same thing really as the wall, except just in a different setting. So in this case, you've got water on the left and you've got a tree right in front of you. So the idea is that you can draw it around that tree as this pulls up. We'll just select seven iron. So you just hit it around the tree to the right and try to draw it around the tree and land it somewhere around that line without going around the water. All right, let's go ahead and leave there. We'll go out to the practice menu. So you've also got the left to right command range. Let's go ahead and start that up. And this is just the opposite. So in this case, this is so you can hit a fade around the tree, which I'm going to be pretty good at because I hit somewhere between two to six degrees right to left, typically. So I just naturally have a cut or a fade. Let's go back out to the practice area. And again, the menu moves pretty quickly. Now I wanted to go over this. So this is really kind of weird for me. There's your improvement ranges, but if you click view all, this is how you get into the city range. You can only get to it through here and you have to click on it and then go down to the bottom and hit T off. And it took me a minute to figure that out because it's just not on any of the other pages. I don't know why. Maybe if I put it in my favorites, it'll show up there. We've also got one last one and that is Accuracy Island. This is pretty cool. So the idea of this is, is that you've got a 30 yard strip island that is completely surrounded by water to allow you to help to try to stay on fairways and such in narrow fairways, especially. So I'll just select a four hybrid. Great graphics and really just a great idea to do this. All right, let's move forward. All right, let's go back from here. Now you've got Swing Lab. I'm not gonna go over this today. I'm gonna do a complete video on that. You've got Skills Assessment, Bag Mapping, and Wedge Matrix. 
We'll do that with another video. Let's go back. We'll go to challenges. All right, so let's select closest to the pin and single player. And then you can select either three or six shots per round, top score or cumulative. You can do shot progression mode, which most people will probably leave it on auto. You hit T off after you select your distance and your club. And you're good to go. All right, let's go ahead and move forward. All right, next we'll select target practice, very similar to closest to the pin. I'll just select single player. And it's kind of the same menu, shots per round, three or six. Select your distance, select your iron, and you're good to go for each player. Let's exit out of there. And then lastly, you have the long drive competition. This looks really good. I haven't done this yet. I can't wait to compete with this with my friends. So you select your multiplayer or whatever you're gonna do, three or six, top score, cumulative, progression mode, uh, easy range width. We'll just select that and select driver. It looks great. I really can't wait to try this. So let's go ahead and exit out of there. All right, so that's gonna be about it for today's content. Um, I'm gonna do a ton of videos with the SkyTrack. I'm gonna go through all the different modes. I'm gonna demonstrate absolutely everything in the upcoming weeks for sure. Uh, if you enjoyed today's content, hit that like button and share with any of your friends that might be interested in SkyTrack or really in golf simulation, period. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.